when we put a Tesla motor into a series Land Rover, one of the things we lose is the transfer case. We simply don't need it anymore. But with that goes the handbrake that used to be on a drum connected to the rear prop shaft. So what we have to do instead is use an electric park brake. And if I jump down here, you can see how that works. So we fit disc brakes front and rear with more performance comes a need for more stopping power. But it allows us to fit the electric park brake system from design development engineering in the UK. So you can see the normal brake calipers and then a little mini caliper for the park brake. And if you follow these wires around to where Julian's standing, he can operate the system and you can hear it go. So that's on maximum setting. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that I can actually move it. All you're getting is the flex in the tire and the rubber. Um, so that locks on pretty quickly. Press the button again and it releases and I can move the car. So we do a few things with this. We can have, we have a manually operated switch so you can you know, turn it on or off whenever you want, but we also have it automatically coming on when you put the vehicle into park. So it, basically another thing where it operates as you'd expect a car in 2024 to operate and just makes the daily livability and usability uh, that much easier and that much simpler and better. But of course you can jam on park brake whenever you want if you're in some extreme off-road situ situation, which these are still more than capable of. Thanks, Julian.